Hello, welcome to my second video in the Getting Started with XAMPP series. In the first video, we installed XAMPP, and so once you've got XAMPP installed, you're capable of seeing a control panel, something like this. Now, this video is really going to talk about how to make sure that you've got PHP up and running, which is probably why you installed XAMPP. There's a good chance. Uh, so, in the previous video, I showed you that you can go to a web browser and in the address bar, type in localhost. And if you do, you're going to get this XAMPP start page, which probably doesn't mean a whole lot to you. I think the most important thing to understand is why do we get this, right? So localhost, which means that I'm viewing this page through my local web server that I'm running, which is what XAMPP is. So I'm going to talk about how to find that. So recall that I installed XAMPP on my flash drive. So I've got this XAMPP folder here. Now, my public web folder, or in other words, the folder where I need to place all of my files, which are going to have PHP on them or anything else that I want to view using XAMPP, needs to be in this htdocs folder right here. And so you'll notice there's some images in here. Now, this magic thing right here, which I'm going to close, is actually this file right here. It's index.php. If I open this up in Notepad++, you'll see what it looks like and that's going to look like a whole bunch of gibberish because it is but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that in Firefox just hang in there with me and you see it doesn't work right it says something is wrong with the XAMPP installation now the reason is because this file by itself right it's just some PHP but it, without so, uh, the ability to process PHP it turns out looking like garbage kinda like it did and so here's the trick Rather than reference my file like this, you'll notice the absolute path name. I need to basically take off all of this path business and replace that with localhost, which is another way of saying, hey, uh, process this PHP. And I press enter, and there's that magical page again. So notice the importance of the path name. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you can't get PHP up and running, and it may be because your files are not stored in the correct directory. In other words, the htdocs folder. That's one way you could be having problems. Another way you could be having problems is you are not running it through the local host. So make sure to do that. Let's test this thing out a little further. So typically when you talk about... Uh, testing PHP. Let's write the simplest thing you can do. So let's opening PHP and closing PHP tags. So everything in between these tags is going to be PHP. And let's just call a uh, function <coughs> which is just uh, PHP info, which is going to, this is typically the way that you verify that PHP is running. It's also going to give you all the information you would want about you know what version you're running and such. I'm gonna save this. It's asking me where I want to save it. Absolutely critical that I save this in my XAMPP folder in htdocs. Now what I call it from here does not matter. But that this part I just typed right there is very important. .php. I have to give it a .php file extension. If you don't give a .php file extension you have no chance of that PHP being processed. Also, because you're working on a web server, uh, no spaces, right? So if you had a multi-name file name, just camel case it, uh, put some underscores or something. Uh, so I'll save this. It is PHP. Now let's run it locally. Nothing, right? The reason it's nothing is look at this path name here, right? This path name is pretty much garbage. So I need to replace that with localhost. And now if I... Right? You see, now the PHP was processed. I think that's the best way to illustrate what's happening. It's just a simple line. It's a, it's a big function, right? The output is pretty tremendous. But notice it was just nothing. But then when we actually process the PHP, which is why you would install some, something like XAMPP, then I get all the information I would want. And it's not that I'm really even going to look at this. You could and see what you've got going on exactly. But uh, this verifies that PHP is, in fact, running. Another way you could do this if you wanted to, like PHP info is a totally standard way to do it. Uh, we could use echo. Echo is just saying, hey, I want to shoot something out to the browser. So I'll say like uh, echo hello there. Save that. Um, do I still have it open? I'll refresh this page. And notice it says hello there. So the echo actually did happen. Let me show you, uh, let me just try and show you something else that could go wrong. If you manage to do something goofy like save this as an HTML file, then that PHP will not be processed. Notice it's called test.html. I'm going to run this. 
and nothing shows up, right? Because the PHP is not getting processed. But hey, let's change this to local host just to show you, right? Nothing. So notice it's got some valid PHP syntax on it, but the fact that it's an HTML file makes that a pretty big problem. So the moral of the story here is make sure that you're running your pages through the local host, make sure that you've got the PHP file extension, and then from there just make sure that you've got valid uh, valid PHP. And also the part that I, I haven't made any mistakes with yet, but this idea that you must store your files in this folder. You could create a subfolder in here, like I've created a Joomla folder, but a subdirectory of this if you would like to be working with XAMPP. So really, that wasn't a how-to as much as it was a how-to not, I guess, right? So if you're having any problems, check the location of your file, check the file extensions, and check to make sure that you're using localhost. You do all that, there's no reason that things shouldn't work. Oh, also, you might as well make sure that you've started Apache as well, but uh, should work. In my next video, I'll work with verifying your MySQL, and uh, thanks for watching.